Get ready for an extraordinary experience as you tune into this inspiring sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. The words you are about to hear carry the power to renew your spirit and ignite a fire of faith within you, guiding you to a new level of divine breakthrough. Every planting that is not by my God, I command that demonic planting, whatever it is, let it be uprooted from your body now. You believe that? Shout a louder amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I thought I would announce it later, but I saw this in my... I was just praying very briefly, in fact, while preparing. And I don't know if it's inside or outside, but there's someone you came with a walking aid, like a crutch. I just saw that vision now, again, repeated. I want you to lift it and stand up. Whether you're outside, your, your crutch, your walking aid, lift it and begin to walk. Whether you are outside any of the overflows, please lift it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Walk. Walk. Walk right to the front. Don't be afraid. Walk. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work until Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I I'm still seeing people outside. The Lord is showing me miracles happening outside. Crutches, crutches, miracles. I'm seeing this outside. Please don't force them. Just make sure they are strengthened. Hallelujah. Particularly outside. If they are not able to stand, just give them somewhere to sit. But this is what God is doing. Don't be afraid. We are not, we are not acting it here. Hallelujah. Number two. There is somebody who came here. Um, I'm seeing, I don't know if it's a neck, a neck, a, a neck, a collar, or something to support yourself. You could not move your neck. This is what I'm seeing. Move it now. Come. Please check yourself. Whether you are inside or outside. Don't be afraid. Check your neck. Your, if you could not move your neck, please move it now. Move it now. You could not move your neck whether you're inside or outside. Please let's have a few officials. There should be one of the ministers outside so that you help manage those outside. Any of them so that you don't just um, punish people for nothing. Make sure that people are touched and healed. Hallelujah. In this miracle, in this ministry, we're not only, there is a grace called the walking of miracles. Hallelujah. The walking of miracles is not just people healed who will be announced. You will watch it happen as it is happening. It is the walking of miracles. Hallelujah. Now, I'm, I'm seeing somebody who has been, is it coughing out, this is what I'm seeing in my vision, coughing out blood consistently will soon be seated but i just saw this in my vision and the lord wants to heal that person right now right now coughing out blood all of you please lift your lift the crutches whatever it is that you came with already god has done what happened to you madam can someone help her please don't leave her standing she looks yes i had two hip replacements um i'm uh, an SS patient and I came here for the Lord to change my um, genotype from SS to AA and it's been causing all these problems. I'm not sure I, I got what she's saying. Someone um, help. I'm an SS patient. Sickle oh, you're an SS? Sickle cell anemia. Yes. Oh sir. dear. 
and I have had two hip replacements on the same. You've had two hip replacements on the same leg, on the same right leg. How long has this been? This is uh, the second one will happen on 25th of November, 21, and I'm still working with the sick. And you believe Jesus to heal you? Sure, I believe in Jesus. I believe Jesus. You can hear me, yes. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I bring you life. Life to your limbs. Life to your body. Supernatural strength right now. In the name of Jesus. You want to walk? Try walking. Go ahead. Yes, stand by hand, guide her. Two hip replacements. Look at what Jesus is doing. How about you, my dear? What happened to you? Accidents on the same leg so several times. You've had accidents on the same leg. Severally, like ten times. Can you see how you can see how satanic this is? Do you think this is a coincidence? Over ten times. The, they have done surgery twice, but the 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 bone is lying parallel. Parallel. It is not joining. It's, it's not joining. Yeah. Look at me. You believe in Jesus? Look at me. Don't, don't worry about what you're holding. Go. Walk. Lift it up and walk. <laughs> My dear, do this. Gently. Carefully. Are you watching a miracle happen here? Look at this. She was even afraid to do it. Before. You couldn't do it before? Yes. Hallelujah. What, what happened to you? I had, a, I, had, I had a accident and I fell and broke my Please bone. stand up. In the name of Jesus, let me rebuke the spirit of accident. Everyone here, please listen and be very sensitive to prophecy. I'm praying prophetically over everyone here. If there is any programming of darkness that you will be a victim of accidents, let it be cancelled here permanently. Let it be cancelled here permanently. Let it be cancelled here permanently. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very touched by their stories. How do you have accidents in the same place so many times? More than 10 times. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening to you. Health and the, the lab bone got broken. So there was no money for me to go for, for surgery. But last year, September, I went for surgery. You went, oh, you are the woman who gave a testimony here? No. Okay. I went for surgical operation and they operated, but this right leg is already shortened. But they said they will still do another operation to straighten the bones. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a supernatural miracle right now. In Jesus' name. Would you want to walk? Move. Koinonia, celebrate what Jesus is doing. Now, I use these three people as a point of contact. That in the name of Jesus, everything that is broken, damaged, that needs a supernatural replacement, let it be replaced right now. Let it be replaced right now. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they return back to their seats. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me just minister to one more, one, one group of people that the Lord is showing me here. I'm seeing someone who, I don't know if it's that you pass out, like you literally faint, it's a situation where you feel dizzy, and then 
I mean you can feel weak sometimes you can pass out is there someone like that very quickly when if I do mention your case and you are you know that is your case please do indicate very quickly so we don't waste time we have a lot to do this is what God is showing me someone who just gets dizzy whether you are outside or inside you can indicate so that you come out here very quickly very very quickly that's your situation H how long for let, like, um, let them come three years now or for, more. okay how about you my friend where are you from I'm from Edo state okay as a matter of fact three Sundays ago I passed that while I was ministering on the altar you were a minister you were a pastor yes sir and you you fell down yes they had to give me water but to the glory of God I still finished the message But is that not you see several people outside our mother here how long madam my own is often always small thing like i used to go out to preach i'm a pastor also are you seeing are you see what the devil is doing now i used to go out for preaching small thing yes. from here to here i will my body will be it's like i will faint i will fall down so i'll stop preaching i'll go back home let me hear from this woman this mama I'm having high BP and I have from my waist to down I could not walk at times I'll be feeling dizzy I cannot do anything you see the thing I love about the Lord is with one revelation he can solve several people's problems just like that how do you come and what you are seeing out of the many cases here is people who are passing out or being weak or all of these kinds of things i'm about to pray for you this is a miracle service our assignment is to end the workings of darkness you can see how the devil is trying to disgrace and embarrass pastors disgrace and embarrass people this mother is saying that she goes out for evangelism that is not a good portrait of the that is not a good marketing system for jesus when you are ministering and you pass out on stage it's like the devil trying to bring mockery to what you are saying hallelujah let me pray for you now place your hand on your chest let me rebuke that devil i can assure you and give you this information for free that a spirit is behind it in the name of jesus even as the lord has revealed i stretch my hands over everyone here and every spirit every demonic force that is behind this 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 situation i speak as one sent by god in the name of jesus let god's people go now out of their lives now let god's people go now whether inside or outside release them now in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you every one of you be healed from these seizures now in the name of jesus i want to pray for this woman this fair mother i'm seeing the spirit of death in the name of jesus i'm not a prophet of doom mama don't be afraid but i command that devil to release you now out of her now I shall not die play the strings for me believe and declare the works of the Lord Amen I shall not die believe and declare you're a man of god the pastor with your own church no sir you are under a ministry not yet sir i was if i go for outreaches i have a healing outreach i go i visit different hospitals can i pray for you yes sir i don't know you but there is a mighty anointing god is going to use you very mightily stand up two things you have to manage you see when it has to do with ministry you have to trust god for grace to choose the right association good people can be destroyed with the wrong association 
are we together now yes and and this is already a prophetic word maybe for a man of god you are as good as your association not just your heart you can be a sincere man of god intending to do ministry with integrity but join yourself with wrong chariots and wrong people who will begin to push you to do things that at the end of it you will find out that it is not christ you are revealing but let me pray for you because god is put i know that we are here to pray for this issue but in the name of jesus i pray for you what's your name Are you a pastor? Yes, sir. Marvelous. Yes, sir. Who is Marvelous? I'm the one. What is your name? Full names. Ezewele Marvelous. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Marvelous. May the Lord do wonders through your life. You will do ministry with integrity, and the Lord will use you mightily. In Jesus' name I pray. Please place your hand on this lady, this one wearing a black, anyone or just, just place your hand on her. In Jesus name, I command this spirit that is holding this girl's destiny, release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that every plague of darkness and of sickness, recurrent sicknesses, what God says to one, he's saying to everybody, if there is anybody here with a plague of recurrent sickness, I declare be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, please return to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. Be seated for a few minutes. The miracle service is already on. Hallelujah. Okay, let me respond to this now. You see, the thing about the water has been stirred is that once it is stirred, it's stirred. There is a family God is showing me. Nobody is working. One of you got a job, but they drove the person away eventually. Where is that family? It's, it's like there is a spirit intelligent people love god but it looks like nobody's working no job please make sure you listen to what i'm saying before you come out you belong to that case please come out quick your word is coming right now come out quick nobody in your family is working please listen to the prophetic word and for one of you you got a job but for some reason i'm seeing that this is this is a wicked manifestation of the activities of ancestry come you got the glory you got the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you so in my life be glorified be glorified hallelujah where are you coming from my friend this man i'm from benway state sir benway state yes, sir. i want to pray for you ah god is going to visit people today honestly listen i want you to believe that as i speak over your life believe that you will return with a testimony hallelujah you see so many people there will be a rain of jobs i want to pray for you there is an anointing that i want to release upon your life and you will marvel you had the testimony of that woman if someone is america this is a phd woman who is there struggling opening boxes and a prophetic word comes she puts her prayer request and now she's working with Jeff Bezos what is it that God cannot do in the name of Jesus let me pray for those in front but you can stand maybe for your loved one you can stand for someone you know who loves God with all their heart but it looks like these doors have not been opened 
in the name of Jesus, those of you in front here, I'm going to declare an anointing upon you. A mighty anointing will come upon you and you will return with your testimony. Right now at the count of three, those in front, I will have my kapat kotokotopa. I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that place now. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare supernatural jobs. I break the cycles of stagnation, career stagnation. I command those cycles. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. I release supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, for some of you, it will not be up to three days from today. Write it down. I'm telling you by the God who sent me, my God will surprise you. Applications that you may have been written for years that no one has called you over in the name of Jesus will schedule favor on that wise for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone I'm seeing here, you work with civil defense. Civil defense, you are not part of civil defense. Is there someone like that? I just got a prophetic word. The Lord is telling me you are up the balcony. You are somewhere in the balcony. Please verify. You work with civil, who is that person? Run, because a door, a mighty door is about to open for you. I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, you are wearing like lime or green up the balcony. I know what I'm saying. Just listen to me. Is there someone like... Who is that? Where were you sitting? Let's organize this now, please. Um, some of the leaders, please. Oh, please bring her to the front. Let me talk to you. My dear, give her the mic. Look at me. You had a dream some time ago and you saw this thing. Yes, sir. If I'm lying, huh? this afternoon. What happened? I saw myself like, like an award in the office. I want to pray for you because what God is about to do in your life will surprise you. Oh, that's why you came with your ID card. That's why I brought my I told my friends to sit here. The lady of Bumble, I told her this afternoon. Where is the friend? Look at her. I told her of the dream this afternoon. If you are not the friend, don't come here, please. Let's, please, please. Huh? Okay, don't worry. For sake of time, give me the ID card. Let me tell you the truth. Koinonia, hear me. We are in the days of his power. Believe this when I tell you. We are in the days of his power. You see why it's good to come to the house of God? This has nothing to do with a miracle service. Once your heart is opened. Civil defense. How do I stand here and know that someone has been praying, had a dream? There are things you cannot fake. No. My dear, I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ because the kind of lifting that God is bringing will surprise you. I prophesy, may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus. I hold your passport. Fire, let that grace come on you now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus. There is a grace for visibility. There is a grace that can cause people to know you are there. As I've released it upon this lady, let that grace land on someone's destiny. Let the apakatos kete pakato. May that grace rest upon someone, rest upon a business, rest upon a ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit.
by this as a prophetic contact let an anointing rest upon your life you will come and testify in jesus name this is the lady that came here first no no hold on this this you are the one who came here you work in civil defense yes, too sir, and you too madam yes sir okay yes, sir. how long have you been there i've been there for 10 years sir 10 years what of you 10 years too. 10 years two of you yes. 2012 yes. father who is that my friend why you work in civil defense too i'm not it's okay it doesn't matter whether i'm not saying if you walk you this is just a word for them it doesn't matter where you walk god is going to lift you <laughs> hallelujah hold on you it was not too long ago you left uba who is that it was not too long ago you left uba uba is a bank who is that person god wants to change your story now for those i have prayed for you the, the first set who came god bless you please return to your seats rejoicing so that we'll hurry up now do you know I've not given my charge for tonight and you must hear the charge. Praise God. Faith comes by hearing. You must hear the charge. Please come. UBA. Is there someone like that? I'm not saying you are walking in UBA. You left UBA. Where, when did you leave? 17. 2017. Yes, sir. How about you? 2020. I want to pray for you. My people from civil defense, let's pray in the name of jesus christ father you are wiping the tears of men you are changing people's stories in the name of jesus i decree and declare may the lord surprise you <laughs> who came from katsina katsina i just saw that name katsina when you find that person please don't tell lies huh please stand here I come from Katsina, sir. Huh? What, what's she saying? Mama, be patient, eh? We are going to pray. This one is word of knowledge. But since you have come, um, our mother is insisting that she's not well. We are going to, we have a section to pray for the sick. What is wrong with you, Mama? Diabetes. I have a partition. I have a, a okay that's that's all right let's just honor our mother she's she's an elderly woman it's okay mama you believe in the power that, that's all right mama don't worry in the name of jesus christ i'm going to pray for you you came from where okay don't worry you see she left a long distance so let's let's just forbear with her you see it's to tell you that people are desperate for the touch of god are we together now so sometimes we are excellent people but we need to allow sometimes this is an elderly woman and as far as she's concerned whether it's a case or not i mean you don't do it but at least since she has done it let's honor her father in the name of jesus we pray for no 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 please mama stand we pray for our mother let there be healing hypertension diabetes every demonic thing we cost you right now in the name of jesus mama we bring you life back pain every pain in your body let it go right now in jesus name i pray let's celebrate mama she goes back to her seat where is the person from katsina yes sir katsina yes sir hmm. What do you do? I'm police officer, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. I'm not a prophet of doom. Yes, sir. But I want to pray for you because I'm seeing them wanting to drive you because a pistol was missing. This is what I'm seeing. You understand? Yes, I'm not... Go, I'm seeing that you, you, like gun, your rifle yes, sir. could not be found and you could not account for it. Yes, and this is a demonic thing because there is something God wants to do. I know you are a police officer, but there is a mighty man of God that God is training in you. Amen. Let me tell you the truth. God is, you see our police officers, there are, there are many people who will rise from the force. Write this down as a prophetic word. God is going to be, right from their academies, God will start raising mighty people. Mighty people. 
So I want to pray with you. You too, my friend. You came from Katsina. I came from Kogi State. I resigned from UBA Bank okay, last year. Okay, our UBA people, okay, I'll pray for you. I don't know why God said UBA. You see, when you are walking with God, just obey. You, it may not make sense why God, there are many banks, and I'm sure everybody wants, what you do is whether the word applies to you directly or not. You can, once your faith connects to it, you can return with a testimony. In fact, do you know I can prophesy to someone, and the person I prophesy to may not even receive the miracle because of unbelief, and someone who connected by faith will come back with a testimony. That is God for you. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ, my friend, I pray for you that the devil will not orchestrate an event that will indict you. There is a woman who is watching from Joss. Your son is a drunkard and you are tired of his situation. I'm seeing that mama crying right now as, as you are following. The Lord is saying I should tell you that in your lifetime, you will see God turn your son's life around. You are an elderly woman, you are watching from Joss. Your son has a problem with I think, and this thing has brought you a lot of pain. It's as if you gave birth for sorrow. Can I extend that prophecy for every mother here? In the name of Jesus Christ, for every mother here or anybody standing any of your sons that the devil is trying to hijack whether through drunkenness or any kind of addiction here at this miracle service we break the power of addiction we break the power of addiction we break the power of addiction in the name of jesus so i pray for you my friend you go and return with a testimony in jesus name i pray and for those who left uba i don't know why the lord asks that i bring you up out but in jesus name i stretch my hands towards you i decree and declare may the lord himself by this prophetic word shift you to the next season of your career exploits whether you currently have a job or not i'm speaking to you prophetically return with a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Am I wasting your time? Please don't feel bad, but there are two women. The Lord wants me to pray. Ordinarily, I would not call them to come out, but the Lord is instructing me. Young ladies, you had... Um, you lost your pregnancy. And you are even here with your husband and the Lord wants me to pray for you this is something that happened I don't know maybe maybe a few months back or so and you are here with your husband come I will worship him forever love him forever because this God is too good I will worship him forever, love him forever, because... Don't be afraid. I know you may cry, but it's a word of hope. God is not asking you to come and stand here to disgrace you, I assure you. He's asking you to come because there is balm in Gilead. This is a miracle service. I will worship him forever. Allow those who are coming to come. Husband and wife, come. To show you the kind of nonsense that the devil is trying to do over families. But we declare that the devil is a liar. There will be a massive celebration of miracle children. Don't sit back if you are in this category. God is calling you. I will worship him forever. Love forever because hallelujah listen the first word is a word of comfort please look up 
the bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old you see when god gives a prophetic word and please our global family learn from this when you are operating prophetically number one you have to know that prophecy brings comfort prophecy exhorts this is not just a display of spiritual gifts these people that god is bringing you will be surprised that some of them right now if god does not step in their marriages may tear apart unfortunately because of the kinds of cultures that we come from for some of them when there are prolonged issues like this there's there's bound to be conflict between the man and the wife so when god calls them like this it is number one to let them know that he's aware the bible says for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities hallelujah let me comfort and encourage everyone here we stand as a ministry in love and partnership and in prayer with you but let me tell you whenever you are having any challenge as a couple there's no such thing as pointing your fingers to say you are the cause or you are the cause when you stood at the altar you agreed that two of you have become one are we together so if the wife wins and the husband loses they lost if the husband wins and the wife loses they lost it is only when they win together that they truly win let me ask the ladies if you can as a point of contact just place your hand on your stomach if you can and then i want to pray for you now remember not the former things the lord god of heaven is going to bless you right now he will make a way for you he will be your god holds you closely to his side with love and strength for each new day he will make a way he will make a way let me rebuke the spirits that are masquerading behind all of these demonic things father i stretch my hands right now if there is anyone here that behind these manifestations of darkness are evil spirits unclean spirits yokes curses all kinds of ordinances i stretch my hands over you by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now I speak to you in the name of Jesus like prophet Eli spoke over Hannah according to the, ah, I'm seeing fire this is what I'm seeing I'm just seeing fire move over people Satan the Lord rebuke you release them now release them now release them now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now I stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost and I declare be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful the Lord gave it as a command we stand as a ministry and enforce it over your life and as I'm praying for these ones anyone in the congregation who is trusting God for the miracle of fruitfulness fire is falling in the name of Jesus I declare be fruitful be fruitful whatever the medical condition is we veto it by the word of god and we declare according to the time of life go and return with your children and for those of you trusting god for twins in the name of jesus we release twins those of you trusting god for triplets in the name of jesus we release triplets You will think it's a joke till you stand to dedicate them here so shall it be in the name of jesus there is one of you here i'm seeing a spirit always appears to you and this is something that also happened to your sister they tell you they have visions where wicked spirits appear to them who is that person in the name of jesus i decree and declare every foul devil that will not allow you enjoy your marriage in the name of jesus we declare a separation right now a separation right now 
please return back to your seat rejoicing hallelujah going on here you are here and your business is not working at all i'm not i don't mean you are rising you are managing it's like there is an attack i want you to leave your seat and run and come and stand here god wants to surprise you please listen to what i'm saying before you come let's be orderly let's be obedient you will not be down except this anointing let me tell you the truth what will happen you will marvel and wonder at the lifting power that is in the name of jesus if you are if you are in any of the overflows just move to your leds you may not be able to come here those outside you can just move to your leds and connect by faith don't say it does not matter this is why god has organized this to attend to the issues of people hallelujah make sure that whatever business you are involved with is not a business that kills steals and destroys are we together yes we are not going to waste our time praying for people who are doing demonic things we, we, it's important that your value that what you are doing is adding value to people and not something that is destroying lives but i want to release an anointing upon you you will be surprised honestly are you ready father you have anointed us for this purpose there are people here who have cried there are people right now as i speak you have gone down like it's not you are owing to the millions tens of millions hundreds of millions it's not business that will bring you out it's the prophetic that will bring you out i try to move from left to my right in the name of jesus at the count of three receive a baptism of the grace for excellence one two three take that grace now 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 i release you go and prosper go and excel go and prosper go and excel listen every business that has died here hear ye the word of the lord between now and the next three months i command come back to life come back to life come back to life anyone here who is in debt you are owing banks you are owing financial institutions you are owing and there is no way you can come out i call upon ebenezer the god who helps men and i declare unto you come out of that financial situation last master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it i'm speaking to you again in the name of jesus if there are wrong people in your business i take them out now and the right people who need to join your chariot i bring them in prophetically in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity i place an anointing on these hands go and excel go and excel in the name of jesus please return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoicing The power of God is coming on someone, but it is not for you. I'm saying that it's for your brother, but you are only receiving from him. He's not been promoted for nearly 10 years. This is what I'm seeing. He has been working. I don't know where he's working, but there's not been promotion at all. Do you know what it means to be in a place and you are just marking time there? I don't know who that person is, whether you are here in the main auditorium or outside, but in the name of Jesus, you don't have to come out. The son of the living God. I decree and declare that the anointing of the spirit lands upon your life and let there be supernatural pro promotion for your brother. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ mercy mercy I'm hearing the name mercy mercy please sit down please sit down Cornelia sit down for a minute mercy who is mercy mommy Some of you have been coming out for everything. Make sure that, make sure that, please, faith, faith, faith does not function in disobedience. Listen, faith does not function. Faith in one word I have taught you is obedience. It doesn't mean you have to come out to receive. Some people can even come out here, I've told you, and see go back and nothing happens. So please, let's be orderly so that it doesn't mean that once a case is mentioned, whether it concerns you or not, mercy. If you are standing in for someone, please go back. Make sure you are the mercy yourself. Hallelujah. I want to deliver a family of mercy from witchcraft. This thing has tied people in that family down. Sincere people, but they cannot rise. When I begin to minister deliverance, one of the things that God is going to be taking from families is this demonic cloud of limitation that does not allow people to rise. It looks like the moment someone begins to rise, something just stops him. I will first pray for them, but that prayer is going to extend to everyone. Mercy. In the name of Jesus, I'll stretch my hands now. The Lord, the, this is why God brought you out here. There is a mighty deliverance going to happen. Father, every covenant that is connected to ancestry or any legal access that Satan has over the family of mercy that gives him authorization, I come by the blood and I declare right now, let that yoke be broken now. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered right now. Yokes of ancestry. Spirits of backwardness. That keeps taking people back. Be delivered now. Please help our mother. Be delivered now. Hear me. For all of you who have come forward. I push you prophetically. Go forward. Go forward. And as I'm praying for them. I'm declaring it over someone. Go forward. Go forward in your life. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Like people will say you take one step forward and then you take ten backwards. That is not the destiny of the believer in Christ. For the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. Is that in your Bible? That shineth brighter more and more. I'm saying it again to those of you here. In the name of Jesus, whatever has held you down, I prophesy to you, go forward. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. We are going to shout seven hallelujah. 
and at the seventh shout listen this is an instruction that just came to me by the spirit you see the way of the spiritual man the bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell where it is going nor where it is coming that is the pathway of one who is led by the spirit many times god will give instructions that may not seem to make sense but in the foolishness of the leadership of the spirit is the breakthrough of the saints are we together now the word hallelujah is broken in two is halal yeshua praise the lord the bible says praise ye the lord to praise him in the firmament of his power every time you halal yeshua you will cause and compel according to scripture it says let god arise the king rises with a shout he says the shout of a king is in the midst of them so the word hallelujah is not just a christian chant it is halal yeshua do you know what me it means to praise to praise means to extol to flaunt the quality of a man that means when you say you are great you are brilliant it's like reading out the credit of that man and the moment you begin to do that you compel him to reproduce that thing again so in saying hallelujah it's a prophetic chance that means anything good about God hallelujah suffices to say you are great hallelujah suffices to say you are the warrior hallelujah suffices to say you are the lion of the tribe of Judah everything that makes him God is captured in that word halal Yeshua we are going to shout it seven times and very quickly I want you to please bring those under the anointing I truly believe like it was in Jericho a city that was shot nothing went in nothing went out at the seventh time there was a shout and the Bible says the wall of Jericho it went down and it sank for someone at the end of this shout you will look and not find the things that that have stood as mountains for you again are you ready now I will call the number and you will shout hallelujah one two three four five Are you ready now? Seven. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. everyone here by the power that raised Christ from the dead be loose now be loose now be loose now I lose every chain I lose every chain ancestral chains chains of darkness chains of limitation I command be loose right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm declaring because that's what I saw in the spirit. Chains. I'm still saying it again. I don't know what has tied your hands. A symbol of your productivity. Your feet. A symbol of your motion. But in the name of Jesus. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That chain be broken right now. That chain. Be broken right now. 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 
Hallelujah. Listen. Every time your hands are bound and your feet is bound, even though you have eyes, you have a mind to think, you will not be able to make progress. I'm about to pray again. The binding of your hand and your feet is a prophetic statement because there are some of you, you've been unable to move forward. Some of you have been unable to be productive. I pray right now. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I speak as one sent of God. Every spirit that has tied you, everything that has bound you, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. In the name of Jesus, I declare be released right now. Be released right now. And every family that has been bound, you came here bound, not understanding what is the mystery behind the hardship and the occurrences in your family. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I declare you are released this moment. 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 The Lord is asking me to break covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement that binds people and binds territories and binds families when it has to do with dominion over covenants that is the ministry of the blood the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel can I pray for you in the name of Jesus any family here and any individual who is under covenants of ancestry covenants that lead to poverty covenants that bind people at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus that fire will come upon you and that covenant must be broken are you ready one two three shout jesus be free by the blood of jesus help them please be free my god be free be free be free be free free from every covenant every ordinance every covenant I say it again, be free. Covenants are powerful. They can tie men and tie destinies. Please bring them out. Demonic covenants, holding people down. Listen, whether you come from the north, I'm still praying. Whether you come from the south, can I tell you, every territory has covenants. Regardless the territory, I'm prophesying to you right now. Every territory that is connected to the soil of where you come from, the Aparakos Ketebatasiata, that has tied down your life in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, let that covenant be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. I have taught you here. How do you know the presence of a covenant? The presence of a covenant is tested by the existence of patterns. The existence of patterns. It is happening to your brother. It is happening to your sister. It is happening to your father. The moment to see a repetition of patterns. I'm praying for someone again. Everything you have seen, maybe with your father, your mother, it is now happening to you. Lack of progress, lack of jobs, barrenness, unfruitfulness. I declare, let it break now. 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 Let it break now.
every covenant that is not of God. I'd like you to shout this after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying my life tying my family by the blood it is broken now open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ oh it is broken thus far have you come no further shall you go in the name of Jesus broken by the blood of the eternal covenant every negative covenant covenants of disfavor covenants of unfruitfulness covenants of retrogression it is broken someone pray open your mouth and pray in one minute spirits of ancestry demonic manifestations in dreams In Jesus name in Jesus name now hear me I want to take the time to pray for the sick but can I tell you this I said it I don't know if it was last year or this year that I saw an onslaught of sickness that God wants to restore the healing anointing again and I'm going to do an impartation of that in the course of the service but listen whether you are sick or not you are going to pray and in this prayer you are going to announce to the realm of the spirit that this body is touched not listen I was having a discussion with our medical people whilst visiting them I think it was a day before yesterday and we we're just having discussions and you cannot imagine how many healthy people someone for instance can be AA and all of a sudden maybe preparing for marriage they can go for tests and you will see another report and wonder where it came from can I tell you if you keep quiet over your body the devil will cut short your life someone shout it say in the name of Jesus I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost every planting of sickness and infirmity leave now open your mouth and pray every planting of infirmity every sickness go ahead and pray that devil must leave your body now pray that cancer out pray that HIV out by the power of the Holy Ghost pray that arthritis out pray that blood disease out in the name of Jesus oh I will not die I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ that blood infection you leave this body migraines you leave this body hepatitis you leave this body someone is praying rheumatoid arthritis tumors growths we cost you by the God of heaven hallelujah 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 do you know no matter how no matter how medically conscious you are there are many people who carry all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and do not even know and then some of them are not a medical situation so you go and use your machines to do all your diagnosis and it shows that you are perfectly fine yet the patient is telling you I know that there is something wrong we are going to pray one more time before I begin to pray for the sick I don't know about you but the fullness of my days I will spend and no devil of darkness I don't care whether they say it's hereditary it came from your father your mother open your mouth and cast it out of your life ladies pray gentlemen pray no cancer no prostrate open your mouth and pray I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the son of the living God 
it will not come not by age not because you are giving birth no reject it in the name of Jesus Health is my portion In the name of Jesus Health is my portion The fullness of my days I fulfill Hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I still want to pray. Now I want you to bring this set of people out to join these ones. I'm going to pray. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw written bad luck. You know what bad luck is? We call it bad luck. But in the kingdom, it is disfavor. But I saw the name bad luck. There are many people, it works for others until it gets to your turn. And mysteriously, I want to rebuke that spirit. Believe me, there is a spirit behind the cycles of disfavor. It looks like things don't just work in your life. And I saw the power of God coming on many people. I decree and declare right now, if there is anybody, some of you are standing in for the sake of your families. Any family here that is wept in this orchestration of disfavor, we call it bad luck. At the count of three, let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come upon you. One, two, three, be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. That wicked spirit, let it leave you now. And even your families, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You see, as we sojourn in life, as we sojourn in life, I have taught you and I will teach you again and again. The forces that are at work in your life, negatively or positively, that is what controls the outcomes that are in your life. If you carry, for instance, the force of favor, imagine the kinds of physical things that will happen to you. And then if you carry this kind of wicked forces of disfavor, imagine what happens to you. It is not the physical occurrences. They are only responding to something in the realm of the spirit that is upon you or around you negatively or positively hallelujah negatively or positively I'm saying it again, bad luck, that spirit that has followed anyone here and is following anyone online. There are even people abroad, you may think it's supposed to be an edge and an advantage, but these same forces have followed them and rubbish their life and their dignity of living. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Hallelujah. Be set free now. The Lord is showing me a family. What I see in my vision, I'm seeing five of you. Nobody has a job. You are graduates. No job. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Please make sure you hear the prophetic word. Don't just jump out. Listen attentively. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Who is that? Come. Graduates. Five. No job. Huh? Five boys, no work, sir. Five boys, boys yes, sir. Graduate, graduate sir. No, job. no job. Where are you from? I'm from Kwara State, sir. Kwara State, yes, sir. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Listen. There's power in the name of Jesus, so don't get used to pain. Believe me, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, you came with your certificate. This uh, here. Look at it here, sir. I, I'm this, not getting you. This is my NYC certificate, sir. Oh, this is your NYC certificate. Look don't don't worry, my brother. God has located you. 
Now you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, five people graduate and then no job because of how demonic the devil can be sitting on the destinies of people. You think it is a coincidence? Let me use them as a point of contact to pray for someone here. Every spirit that has vowed that shame must remain with you in the name that is above all names. As I'm praying for them, I'm praying for you. Let that closed door be open now. Be open now. Help them. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I declare by prophecy here. Supernatural jobs for you. Now. You imagine, watch this now. Imagine for instance, this our dear brother. Five boys. You imagine that you are the father or the mother. Now you've given birth to children. Let's assume you did not make the most with your own life. You are hoping and trusting that in your lifetime, that these children will become sons of consolation like the Bible will call them. Five of them. No job. You may be saying, Apostle, we are two. Even if you are the only one, I declare in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, hear me by prophecy, wherever your job is, in this nation or around the world, may my God locate you. May my God locate you. Mama, may my God locate your children. And for all of you who have come out for this word, I stretch my hands and I declare, the same way you have come out, that is how you will come and stand here to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, you have a brother who passes out. I don't know what they call it medically. Like the person is, is like fainting, but the person just passes out like that. Who is that person? I want to pray for you very quickly. Come. Where is he? Huh? He's in Jabi. I wanted him to come today, but he didn't come. He couldn't come. No problem. You stand for him. He passes out. How how frequent? So recently it happened five times in one day. I'm seeing a lady coming too. And then he bleeds from his mouth. And then he bleeds from his mouth. How about you, my dear? Disciple. He passes out. Your disciple. Yeah. I want to pray for you. When God reveals, it is because his power has gone ahead to bring an end to that tragedy. Remember, there was once a gentleman in the Bible who had suffered epilepsy. The Bible says he will fall in the midst of fire. Do you know what that means? Imagine if this person wants to cross the road and that demonic thing happens. You can lie down there at the junction. You see, the key to opening your heart in a meeting like this is to have a heart of sympathy and compassion. Don't wait. You have to put yourself in the shoes of others to feel what happens when God gives a prophetic word. Even if it is not a word for you, you know. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you, your disciple and your brother, using you both as points of contact for as many who are releasing their faith. I don't know what demonic walking is this that makes you or your loved ones to pass out, but by the blood of the eternal covenant, that tragedy, that occurrence comes to a permanent end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, comes to a permanent end now comes to a permanent end now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone um, the Lord is asking me to pray for you you are a policeman but this is tragedy over your family it's like nothing is happening I, 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 this is this is this is what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me you didn't wear your uniform to work but you are a policeman I don't know who that person is if there is such a person you are a policeman where are you from sir I am I serve in Abuja here, but I'm from Benue State. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? I do. I believe in Jesus. 
I'm seeing a spirit behind you. I know you are a policeman, but let me pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. This thing is not even just the spirit of tragedy. It's even the spirit of death. I decree and declare, sir, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be free from it right now. I'm seeing it again. The spirit of death. This man is a police officer. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. You are a police officer too? From where, sir? Kaduna State, sir. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? No, sir. There is a spirit from where you come from. Huh? And I know this and I agree because, respectfully speaking, this is not just a regional thing. This is not just from where you come from. There are many other states that have that tragedy. The person who rises up ends up dying. Is that true? This is true. Yes, I need to pray for you because like this man, I'm seeing the spirit of death. I'm not a prophet of doom. Yes, That's why I said, will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? And this thing I'm seeing is like an armed robbery operation and then something happened and then like being shot or something. I want to pray for you. There is nothing you cannot do. My friend, how long have you been in the police force? Two years, sir. Will you believe another thing if I tell you? Yes, sir. You are not going to be in the police force for too long. I'm seeing that God is, you are going to be a great entrepreneur. And God is, this is what I'm, please listen. Every prophecy I give you is subject to your partnership with God. But this is what I'm telling you, go and write it. You are going to do something that has not been done in your family. I'm telling you this. Because now there's, there's no profession, there's nothing wrong with any profession, but in your heart, this is not really what you want to do. Huh? Sir. And this is even affecting your productivity because you are just there and something is telling you, do not feel bad. You were there for a reason. There are many times that God passes us through things. If Joseph did not get into the well and Potiphar's house, he would not appreciate sitting at the throne. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let the grace that lifts men, let the grace that helps men rise, may that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you. You will not die. You will not be a victim of tragedy by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I'm hearing a name, Rosaline. 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 I believe that's a female name. Rosaline. Is there someone with that name? I just want to pray for you very quickly. If there's someone, Rosaline. Who is that? Please, if you are... If you are the one, don't waste our time so that we we'll pray quickly. Rosaline. That's your name? The name your parents gave you? Yes, sir. You are Rosaline too? I want to pray for you. Now, don't come out. I want to pray. But something surprising will happen now. There is a lady here. The spirit that follows you, only married men look for you. A responsible man who loves Jesus and is born again, it looks like there's something that always, I'm not saying you should come out. You are not, these are not part of, Rosaline is what I'm calling now. This one I'm praying. But the power of God wherever you are, this, I'm seeing this, this lady, you have cried to God. You are a nice lady. And you have said, Lord, take away this reproach from my life. I'm praying right now, the anointing of the spirit, wherever you are, that anointing 
is locating you. The spirit that brings only married men who have no business coming to talk to you and they seem to come and bother you and disturb you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. I declare right now that curse that is upon you, let it be broken. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Rosaline, let me pray for you. There's one of you, the Lord is taking away this thing about death again. One of you standing here, the power of God is coming on you. This is the manifestation of the spirit of death. Lord, in the name of Jesus, anyone here who has been trapped by this demonic manifestation, release them now. Release them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare upon you, you will not die. And everything that has kept your family bound, I am prophesying to you, Rosaline, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, go and excel. I release you to go and excel. In the name of Jesus. We we'll have to be very fast. There is, I'm seeing a gentleman here. This is a pattern that has happened. You never do well academically once. I'm seeing you have written Wayek. I'm seeing the number six. This is six times and you have still not made your papers. I don't know who that person is. Is there someone like that or maybe your brother or so? Please let's hurry up. I'm, I'm only speaking because God himself is revealing this case to me and I have to obey and honor God else I would have just spoken over the person and then we continue. Continue. Wayek, I'm seen six times. You've written, or is it someone related to you, and you've not been able to make your paper at all. This is a pattern. It looks like your your siblings or people in your family, they don't seem to be able to excel in one sitting. Whether the person is inside or outside, um, if, if for distance you cannot make it, let me just know. So I just speak a word and then we continue because I want to pray over the sick. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, the next exam you write, by the power of prophecy, we push you to the other side of victory. Help them. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit right now. Out of him. In the name of Jesus. Out of him right now. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Hold on, hold on. You are a businessman. You are into construction materials. Who is that? I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a demonic spirit just hijacking your finances. And the Lord is saying to release that person. Building construction of that sort please make sure you don't don't tell lies come out this is the house of god jesus christ is here who is that person i want to pray for you Thank you for coming out. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Lord calls like this because you cannot be empowered by the strength of the flesh. One prophetic word you see can open a door of opportunities. I know what prophecy can do. Remember I told you the forces that make the promises of God at work in our lives? This world is too wicked to just depend on sentiments. You can't sit down depending on the day. I'm hoping that somebody who becomes a governor or a chairman house committee on something, if it's my person, you will help me. That's a risk, a, a very bad risk. But let me pray for you. I don't mean to embarrass you. I'm only obeying God. I will not call your name and I will not point you. But there's one of you here. 
I, I pray that the mercy of God will speak over you. Um, you have cheated people. You have cheated people a lot. You have done a lot of things you should not do. And I need to pray the mercy of God for you. You see, if you want to do business, we are believers. Do business with the integrity, the, the dignity of kingdom integrity. This is what I'm seeing. Don't come and cheat and defraud people and do a lot of things. Cut corner. A bag of cement is 10 naira. You say it's 1,000. And then you want the blessing of God. God is not a herbalist. The Bible says that you lay iniquity far from you. Is that true? And then you shall be built up. You will lay gold as dust, even the dust of offer. Now, I'm not condemning you. The Lord just ministered to me. But I want to pray for you. I truly believe in supernatural empowerment. Empowerment by the Spirit. Some of you, for many years, jobs have not come for you. You have done all you need to do. It is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved sleep i stretch my hands over you god who has located you by the mercy of god i declare three months from now beginning from now march ending i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead between now and the next three months may god surprise you between now and the next three months, I declare strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural doors by the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I want to pray for you. There is somebody who traveled. You are a visitor. You came here from Cameroon. Please go back to your seat. Where are you? Cameroon. The Lord is speaking to me. I want to pray for you. Cameroon. You came from Cameroon. I'm not saying you are a Nigerian, you live in Cameroon. You came, you came particularly for this. You are from Cameroon. My friend, you are from Cameroon. You came for this program. Bermanda. Bermanda, Bermanda. Who is from there? I'll pray for you. All of you are from Bermanda. How do I look at all of you and know that you are from the same place? What is the probability of getting it right? That all of you are from Bermenda. In the name of... I've never even been there. I've just been to um, Douala and uh, Yaoundé. That's, that's all. But in the name of Jesus Christ. For one of you, you see dead people when you sleep dead people they keep manifesting where's that person lift your hands i want to pray for you because the living and the dead have nothing in common i want to i'm using them look as i'm praying for them i want you to release your faith because some of you what is happening to them is happening to you any dead body that will not let you rest coming to disturb you listen even if it's your relative the living and the dead are, are separated there is the spirit of just men made perfect that is not what is happening to you this one is a demon oppression as I pray for these ones every covenant anyone has with the dead in the name of Jesus let it be broken now broken now let it be broken now in the name of Jesus my dear people from Cameroon I stretch my hands to you in the name that is above all names you came here by the spirit every issue of concern that brought you here to travel all the way return back with your testimonies supernaturally return back with your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ can we pray for the sick now please I want you to lay your hands if you came here with a sick person, by the way, let me use this opportunity to just make a quick announcement. Now, we thank God for what God is doing in and through us as a ministry. But just for the sake of proper coordination, if you come with anyone, whether for the miracle service or any service that has um, issues, maybe like mental health or any kind of psychosomatic condition, please do well to let our medical people know alongside our security operatives so that we will guide and manage them. You'll notice a few occurrences have happened in the last few weeks and some of these people are sincere people either being delivered or people who already have traces of um, mental health like the lady last week or so. So these are sincere people and we owe it to help them and 
but please do well so that whilst we are trusting God for their healing we don't want a situation where they harm or hurt other people there are children here there are adults here there are other people who are sick managing their health there are people here who are very fragile health wise and it will be wise to know that if you have someone who has come with any kind of particular aggression do well to let the medical team know and let the security operatives know so that we'll keep them in a place where we have watchful eyes over them so that we stop some of these things because um, some of the security people that work here work professionally so once they apprehend people we have to submit to their way of professionally dealing with the matter so we do not want a situation where anyone comes to church and now you have to go to the police station or respond to any security concern is that fine let's lay our hands where we are trusting God for healing holy holy glory to the land expect a miracle right now whether is a malignant growth that is already expressing itself as cancer I want you to release your faith and this is where we pray for those who are connecting from hospitals I remain humbled that many hospitals connect our services so that their patients whether by way of phone or whatever means you are following from any hospital right now or any family or watching across the globe and you are sick in your body here's your chance to experience the healing power of Jesus I see some of you lifting the photos or maybe connecting your loved ones go ahead and release your faith lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch you can just make contact with your chest I want to pray for you I want to rebuke blood diseases I want to rebuke just just I want you to be sensitive the power of God is moving to heal I want to rebuke eye conditions I want to rebuke spine conditions and all kinds of cellular deformities that are destroying people right now blood conditions your hair falling bone problems already formations of arthritis half of you is beginning to get weak and heavy you are losing sensations across several parts of your body this is what the Lord is showing me losing sensations I'm seeing others who are having severe growths across several parts of your body growths that are becoming embarrassing across several parts of your body and you are trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing a woman hold a child I think that the child does not walk this is what I'm seeing in my vision I don't know if you're watching by way of internet or maybe you're somewhere you are holding a child I'm seeing a child that I don't know whether it's, it's an epileptic child or something like that but in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands right now and I want to rebuke that sickness healing is the children's bread in Zion there is healing now here's what will happen as I begin to rebuke that spirit remember what I taught you I want you to begin to do what you could not do 
if you could not walk as I begin to rebuke this sickness, I want you to begin to take steps of faith and see if it's possible for you to lift your limbs and to walk. You could not see as I pray for you. You begin to check your eyes. You could not hear as I pray for you. You have some kind of heaviness. You couldn't move any part of your body. Make sure that while I pray, you check yourself. And the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, begin to rejoice and celebrate with the Lord. And then if I do give an opportunity, we'll have very few people so that we don't prolong our stay unnecessarily. We'll have a few people come so that we can have one or two people testify. But let me pray now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. Father, thousands of people gathered here on this ground and thousands others following from across the globe. There are many right now who if you do not heal them, they are going to die. There are many people right now who are already at stage four, maybe cancer. There are many right now who are victims of blood diseases and all kinds of infirmities. But the Bible tells us that by your stripes we have been healed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every spirit of infirmity that is back of any disease disease, any sickness, I command you leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, there is someone God is healing. You cough out blood. You cough out and you find out that you are spitting blood. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Every blood condition here represented be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. HIV be healed in Jesus name. Hepatitis be healed in Jesus name. Leukemia, be healed in Jesus' name. I decree and declare anyone who has any spine problem, I command the power of God touches you right now in Jesus' name. Bone conditions, you could not work or you could not work well because of a problem with your bones, the life and the power of Jesus touches you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone severe pain. You have very, very severe pain at the back of your neck. Very severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Bringing you supernatural perfection in the name of Jesus. Every eye condition here be healed in Jesus name. Anybody who could not walk in the name of Jesus. I declare that strength comes to your limbs to begin to walk now. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Any part of your body you could not move, I declare begin to move it now. Liberty of expression comes for you, begin to move it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you had a dream and it's like they poured something on your head. From that time, you are not particularly sick, but there is movement, physical movement. You keep feeling physical movement like an object is moving around your head. I decree and declare right now, let that demonic occurrence come to an end. And for everyone you are standing for, I'm seeing several of you lifting your phones, lifting photos. In the name of Jesus right here, I'm praying that the power of God will touch those people wherever they are. For those who are connecting from any hospital, in the name of Jesus, I speak to those people. Supernatural healing and recovery happens for you now. Healing and recovery happens for you now. There's someone you came here feeling you literally could feel like a big mast around your stomach area. The moment I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will find out that that demonic thing is gone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
there's someone the Lord is showing me, if I don't pray for you, you're going to lose a lot of your teeth. You have a situation, I don't know what it's called, maybe a cavity problem that is, is making maybe some kind of bacterial or fungal problem that is making your teeth to be weak and almost to, to, to rot or something like that. It's, it's produced intense odor from you and you've gone to the hospital from what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power of God touch you right now. May the power of God touch you right now. The Lord is asking me to pray for a little boy. He's not a baby, but he's a little boy. The boy acts like someone who is autistic, hyperactivity. I mean, he can be very hyperactive, like the strength of many people. I declare calmness comes for that boy right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any lump and any growth in any part of your body. In the name of Jesus, I command those growths to disappear. And hear me, I don't know, but I'm hearing colon cancer, colon cancer. In the name of Jesus, if there is anybody, whether here or connecting across the world, whether you are aware of it or not, in the name of Jesus, we cause those cells, they die from your body. They die from your body. I'm seeing someone, you are unable to move your fingers. You are unable to move your fingers without pain. But in the name of Jesus, after this prayer, you will be able to move your fingers with no pain. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I'm seeing someone's... A grandmother, the spirit of death wants to take that woman. I'm seeing sickness, a grandmother. With what I'm seeing, if we don't pray, that person may not survive up to a month. A grandmother. Father, by your mercy, wherever that woman is, I declare life and healing for her right now. Life and healing for her right now. Life and healing for her right now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to pray. I'm praying for the sick. You don't have to come out. I want to speak. Um, this is a woman. You get pregnant, but you are never able to pass three months. And it looks like you have to lose that pregnancy. No matter what happens, you have to lose that pregnancy. In the name of Jesus, I am praying. I don't know where that woman is. Maybe your sister, your wife, your auntie, anyone connecting. In the name that is above all names. That plague of losing pregnancy comes to an end. May the next pregnancy be the one that will lead to your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, be healed. Be healed. And I did not speak about people with madness, any kind of madness. You see this mental health demonic thing again. I command, let your sanity be restored now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Now hear me, we're going to do two things very quickly. I want you to check yourself. Let's have, even if it's just two, three testimonies to glorify Jesus. Check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened, whilst you were under the anointing, whilst I prayed, I want you to do what you could not do. You find out that a miracle has happened very quickly. I want you to come forward very quickly. There is a gentleman. Check yourself. You will find out that the mast, you came with a very strong mast around your stomach. It's gone right now. Please, if you need to go to the medical stand, why don't you go to the medical stand and check? But check yourself, you'll find out it's gone completely. And let's have a few people. God has healed people. Don't sit back. Make your way to the front so that we'll have one or two testimonies. Let's celebrate them. Those who are coming from outside, please make sure you allow them come. You are coming out to testify. Make your way to the front right now. Check yourself. Let's have one or two testimonies to the glory of the name of the Lord. People are coming. Are you celebrating miracles? Now, while that is happening, I hope you've written your prayer request. How many of you have your prayer request? Wave it and let me see. If you are yet, if you are yet to write your prayer request, let's celebrate those who are coming. The Lord is touching several people. Ushers, please quickly 
complete your prayer request right now and pass it to the last person by your left or right and the ushers will be there to pick it we have to speak over your requests in the name of Jesus Christ whilst you are sitting there I'd like you to begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit no idle moment pray in the spirit and for those who are connecting by way of the internet you have been touched by God you have been healed I'd like you to forward your testimonies in the name of Jesus and our media people will have it appear lines are open Jesus is touching people right now we'll take a few um, all the requests once we have them please let's bring them forward very quickly so that we can celebrate what the Lord is doing hallelujah you're ready sir yes sir Go ahead. Please listen for these testimonies. So, Apostle, she came in here. Um, she had a surgery, and I can still see this car. She can actually. You had a surgery? Yes. Three weeks back. Three weeks back? Yes. What happened to you? I had an accident then. So, one of the legs and uh, two was out. One of the legs? My two. One Your of, toe? Yes. Oh. So, all of a sudden, the neck started swelling up. Yes. So, I had a surgery. Yes. I had three weeks back. Okay. So, I came. I cannot move oh, you could not move your neck. Yes. Move it now. Yes. Koinonia, look at this. Let's celebrate Jesus. She had a surgery and could not move her neck. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Shout a loud amen. amen. Go ahead. Let's listen to our Father. I have been having neck, you know, pains behind my neck. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes the thing will come down, sometimes it come up. Yes. As soon as I also mentioned neck pain, sharp neck pain, the thing disappeared. Completely. Also. Check yourself, sir. Look at this. Completely. Completely gone. Hallelujah. Yes, it will never return to you again, Daddy, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate our Father. Yes, yes please, very quickly. I have been having severe neck pain. Neck pain also? Severe neck pain. As you mentioned my case, and also hepatitis B. Hepatitis B. Yes, as you mentioned my case, the severe neck pain just left it. Completely. Pain. And I believe God, the hepatitis In the name of Jesus, the same God who did it for your neck, we declare that it happens over hepatitis. It leaves your body right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Very quickly, let's listen to our Father. I am not a member of this church. Daddy, go ahead. I visited my daughter here. Yes, sir. And she looked at me and I told her that I have the neck pain here. And that I have done for, I've gone for uh, x-ray. Yes, sir. And they told me I have cervical spondinosis. And so she laid hand upon me and prayed. After she has prayed, I began to feel much better. Yes. And now that I came here, I posted myself, take neck pain. The healing is permanent. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? In the name of Jesus, Daddy, we decree and declare it will not return to you again. And may God bless that your wonderful daughter. That's how children should be. They should not cause pain and trouble for parents. In the name of Jesus, sir, we bless you and we bless your home. You go and return with testimonies. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Good evening, Cornelia. As one of my cousin's sister, she took in for three months. So as I came to this program, then she now called me early in the morning that until I wake up, I started to see blood. I said, that devil will not took away that pregnant. As I came to this program, I believed the God of my father, which is called Apostle Jesua Salima. When the prayer was going, she now called me that until I not see blood again. Oh, she I called said, you. Yes, sir, the blood dried up. The blood dried up. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, we declare she will give birth full time. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you who are stood in for her, may God bless you. Reproach is far from your life forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let me take a few Apostle, you gave me a word of knowledge of someone who had a dream that something was poured on her head. Yes. She said she had the dreams four days ago. And then since then she has been having severe headache. She came here with the headache, but as she gave that word of prophecy, the headache is it's gone forever. In the name of Jesus, it will not return to you again, my dear. Yes, please. Yeah. 
had an accident last year, December, and broke his right, I mean, thumb. Yes. And then this year again, while he was working, the second thumb got broken too, so he couldn't move there. But as you were praying, the power of God came upon him. Check and yourself now. Thumbs, now. Are you celebrating what God is doing? Look at this. He had an accident. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, please, very quickly. These are long cases of uh, neck pain, back pain. You now, hold on. I have taught you here that once you begin to see certain repetitive occurrences, it is not just a miracle. There is a sign. There's something God is saying. You see, your neck is what connects the head and the body. Are we together now? And it is the neck that grants access to mobility. You see that? Once once your neck is having a problem, you are stagnated, you are unable to move. You see that? So once you see these things happening, it's not just neck problems. These are no coincidences. They are a message that the Holy Spirit is speaking. That whatever is limiting you from your movement, that you cannot move to the left and the right, that limitation is broken from your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So these are long cases of and back and neck pain. In the name the of Lord Jesus, of every back, every neck pain, I declare even as you have come out, you will return back with your testimonies perfected. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For 12 years you couldn't stand straight. You couldn't now. stand straight. Yes, sir. For how long? For 12 How were you before now? Slight events like this. And now, during the prayers, I just started adjusting. Bend, bend, look at this. Bend to the back and see. 12 years. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? 12 years. In the name of Jesus, everything that has not been straight in your life, the Lord is straightening it right now. Shout a loud Amen. The Lord perfects you, my friend, in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Pastor Jakes. I'm here once again for a testimony. Straight to the point. Throughout last week, the, my best sitting place was the floor in the office because of back pain. So when I came here, I was praying to God, God, don't allow me to go back with this back pain. To the glory of God, after the prayers, I checked myself. Do what you couldn't do before. What couldn't you do? You couldn't bend. Look at this. Koinonia. Celebrate. Bend, but I find it okay, you couldn't bend properly. Yes. Now check yourself. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's have two or three and then we're done. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is a breast, breast lump. She had a lump, sir. Breast lump? Had a lump, yes. Yeah, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, pain. Yes. So that's... For how long, ma? It's like, uh, let's say, three weeks or a month. Okay. So, but when this thing came, very severe uh, pain... I remember I used to put uh, your uh, yes. uh, message every y midnight. Yes. I said the, the devil that came made a mistake. Because that message I put in the midnight used to drive even tenant wicked one out of my house. I said, what of this particular one now that I know that the apostle message can even heal me? That's what I have in my mind. I went to hospital, I came back. But after, Mama, what happened now? Yeah, three, three or four days. Yes. As I, I was putting that your message in, uh, in midnight. Yes, ma'am. I ma started touching the, the whole place. I couldn't feel it. It's gone. And the pain that is, I'm still feeling small pain during the prayer now. Yes. Yeah, I lay hand, nothing like pain. Completely. The Lord will perfect your body and bring good tenants to your house yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let's celebrate, Mama. So, Next well, person. Well, Apostle, for this one, I've chosen not to punish myself. Yes, sir. So I invite Doctor to come and. <laughs> Doctor, please talk to us. Good evening, Daddy. Yes, sir. Okay, so for the two of them, basically they have um, kidney issues. Kidney? Um, yes. Wow. So for her, she said she had a medical condition. She couldn't really um, tell what exactly the medical condition was, but it involved her kidneys, and then she has been having pain by the side of her stomach for, okay. for over three years now, since um, 2021. Yes. Okay, but today, when you prayed, during the prayers and everything, she felt that pain. Gone. That pain is gone completely. Yes, daddy. And then for him too, similar kind, um, he had a kidney infection. Um, we call it pyelonephritis. He had been treating over and over again, but still he didn't get his relief. He has been having pain for quite a while, but after today, after the prayers, the pain has gone. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, all of you with kidney problems. 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare perfection right now. You will never have a repetition of that situation in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So we have a few testimonies online. Okay, let's just have two or three very quickly. Daddy, this is Miriam writing all the way from UK. She says, I'm the one who Apostle said that has moving things around my head. After prayer, I have had this movement for three years now. I can feel... I cannot feel anything moving in my head. Completely. Praise God. Let's celebrate Jesus for her. This is from Alfred. I am testifying from Dubai, he says. Last two years in a dream, someone poured water on my head. And this caused m- movements in my head. As the apostle gave the word of knowledge, I feel something breaking from my head. I am now free Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is an anonymous person connecting from Canada. The person says, I just received my healing. I was nursing back pain for months now. I could not bend well without pain. The pain has disappeared as Apostle prayed against back pain and spine conditions. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, um, for sake of time, okay, maybe we'll have that last one. Apostle, I, I, I had uh, a pain on my head. Sometimes it will be as if a nail is being placed on my head. Yes. I came here with the pain. Immediately made mention of it. It took It's off. gone completely. It will never return to you. For everyone who has been healed, we declare to Jesus be all the glory. And we declare that your healings remain permanent. Now re- remember that for any and every service at all, you are able to register your testimony even during the week. Our PR lines function ev- every time, all day. Day, and then you can reach through our media lines, register your testimony. We'll be glad to take some of the testimonies on Sunday. Hallelujah. Please rise. I know you have tried, but stretch your hands as we pray over these requests. Remember your request is here represented. If there are still others, please bring them very quickly. Begin to make declarations of faith that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Someone is praying. I see them no more forever. Stagnation gone forever. Retrogression gone forever. Someone is praying. Joblessness gone forever. Rising, falling gone forever. Repetitive patterns gone forever. Are you stretching your hands to pray? In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we declare that this request make sure you pray remember we said prayer is a force that can help you make manifest the promises of god make sure you are making declarations of faith as i lay my hands upon your requests the anointing of the spirit is touching every request touching every request regardless the region regardless the problem i'm releasing the anointing upon this request and prophesying to you that you will receive testimonies everyone pray everyone pray we are declaring even by the spirit prosperity for families healings for sick bodies supernatural jobs supernatural fruitfulness marriages doors of marriages and fruitfulness opened in the name of jesus financial opportunities restorations of health accelerations personal revival corporate revival we declare by the blood in the name of jesus christ i like you to shout amen, amen. father i decree and i declare right now that every request here represented these are expressions of the faith of your people and in the name of jesus i place an anointing on every one of these requests may they be turned this moment to your testimonies may they be turned this moment to your testimonies some of you beginning from tonight you start picking these testimonies for someone here it will be for you like the bible said when the lord turned again the captivity of zion honestly it will be like a dream for you i prophesy so in the name of jesus 
and any agent of darkness that says over my dead body for this request to be answered I decree and declare may the God of vengeance arise for your sake every human agent that must come into partnership with the realm of the spirit to make for answers I declare in the name of Jesus beginning from tonight may the Lord not give them rest until they respond to you in the name of Jesus by the power of the name of Jesus by the anointing of the spirit I declare this request blessed they return to you as answers in Jesus mighty name we pray give Jesus a big hand clap now let me speak finally over your life as we wrap up the service Remember, I told you prophecy is a force. It's a force that reprograms possibilities in your life. In the name of Jesus, as you enter the month of April, I speak over your life. Everything you have seen from January till now, that is not what you prayed for, is not what you agreed with God for, it dies with March right now. Hallelujah. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever represents shame, reproach, and stagnation, after this miracle service, you will see them no more. Can I declare favor upon your life? In the name of Jesus, I call upon Ebenezer, the helper of men, the one who can open doors, granting you unusual kindness from men, unusual access and unusual acceptance. May that grace come upon you now. <laughs> Hear me. You are a man of God here. I release grace upon you. Go back and do ministry at another level of impact. <laughs> You are a businessman here. I prophesy upon your business. Provided what you are doing is with integrity and is towards the building of men. I declare prosperity upon it. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every home here. Any demonic spirit that is orchestrating to scatter any home here and cause troubles, we cause it right now in Jesus name. For someone, my prophetic word for you, for the month of April is good news. Good news. I say it again, good news. Good news. Sounds. Sounds of joy. Good news. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare where you have been weary and discouraged. May the Lord console you with manifold testimonies. Everything that has fought your prayer life, let it give up on you now. Everything that has fought your word study life, let it give up on you now. Everything that has fought your passion for the house of God, let it give up on you now. Koinonia, let me pray over your finances. I bless you with increase. Go and prosper. Go and experience increase. I prophesy acceleration. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. My God will keep you from trouble. And my God will keep you from troublemakers. In the name of Jesus. I place a mark of honor upon your life. Wherever you go to from tonight, I pray that seasons of honor be scheduled towards you. You shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The spirit of excellence is at work in you. Go and excel. Go and excel. Your children are blessed. Your spouse blessed. Your family members blessed. Your ministry blessed. The works of your hands blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. That by this time next week, when you return back on Sunday, you will return with sounds of joy and melody. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of gratitude. Lord, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share, and subscribe. Thank you.